Buzz Bay in-studio guest, Cindy Johnson, 23 years with Guam DOE, most especially down F.Q. Sanchez as a school health counselor and nurse. Let's open up the phone lines. Let's go to Karina from Maleso. Karina, good evening. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. What's your uh, comment or, or question? Well, my question is, if F.Q. opens, in your experience of sharing resources between the two schools, does it really work? Okay. I've got an answer for that let's, one. Let's, let's go for it. <laughs> Um, over the years that I've been there, mm -hmm. I have been shared. I've been shared probably off and on maybe four years mm -hmm. or five years of mm -hmm. my years have been shared between the two. Mm -hmm. The counselor's been shared, ESL's been shared, the librarian's been shared, GATE has been shared, SPED has been shared, the counselor, did I say the counselor? The principal has been shared. Really? So, I mean, really? Yeah. Oh. Yes, one principal for two schools. Uh, and that's Melissa, or I guess, or somewhere? Uh, from somewhere. Yes, from Melissa. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, from, okay. Mm -hmm. So, are are those? Uh, okay. So, let, let me see. So, if if those people are being shared, then they they shouldn't be in the FQ Sanchez staffing pattern, then, right? That is correct. Well, it's very complicated, Jess. It's just very very complicated. Okay. I mean, we just feel like if we don't have a principal or a teacher, they probably shouldn't be on our staffing pattern. Yeah. But in the past, when I was going back and forth to both, mm -hmm. oh my word, it just mm -hmm. worked very, very poorly. It's, you cannot schedule the accidents on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in one school, and Tuesday and Thursday on the other, um, just like you cannot schedule um, things with a counselor, discipline mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. or you cannot schedule things that go on. Yeah, mo most, most accidents are not scheduled. The, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. they're not. They're <laughs> just, I have learned that in 23 years. If I've learned nothing else, in my it's experience just, in accidents, it I, just doesn't I've never happen that way. Them, yeah. No, no, no. It just doesn't happen that way. And that's why we need the full time person because oftentimes also, um, a person will be delayed over at one school, doesn't mm -hmm. make it over to our school. That is generally mm -hmm. what happens. They're delayed. So we don't really get the full service. Mm -hmm. um, and w I feel that our children need as good a service as any other children on Absolutely. this island. Well, children first, educate, no, leave no uh, child behind. That's the way I look at it, Jess. Okay. I'm glad we agree on that. that. That's, that's the law. Yeah, that's yeah. The, law. the sharing thing has yeah. been a real failure. Let's go to Nikki from Alessio as well. Nikki, good evening. Hi. Hi, Nikki. What's your question or comment? Hello? Um, hello? Yes, go ahead. You're on. Do you feel that if FQ opens, the students will get an adequate education and maintain their high SAT 10 scores? Um, you've been down there 23 years. If, 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 if they open, reopen FQ Sanchez, do you think the SAT scores will remain the same? Would it be the same if they go somewhere else? Uh, with, mm. I think if the children move, I think there's no question but what the SAT scores will go down. Mm -hmm. um, we were a family mm -hmm. at FQ Sanchez, and therefore we give, we're able to give a lot mm -hmm. of hands-on mm -hmm. um, really intimate mm -hmm. teaching with mm -hmm. our kids. I just think that if we move them away from their home mm -hmm. to another village, when they drive by every day and still mm -hmm. see their school there, it's just empty if the school is not open. But my question is as well here. Now, let, let's, go, let, let's go beyond this and let, let's say school opened yesterday, okay? Okay. Um, they did not, uh, Department of Education, did not send out, uh, I guess, a letter to all, I guess, the, um, um, students and, and family. They haven't communicated with the mayor to tell his residents where the students have few chances are going to go because they're still on the table. There's still talk that there's a possibility that students might go not only to Maleso, but also down to, to Agate. I mean, here it is. School was supposed to start yesterday. Mm -hmm. They delayed it another week. And then the, the following day that they delayed it one week, they said, oh, wait a minute, we're going to delay it another week. Mm -hmm. Now the 22nd, mm -hmm. bus operations, according to their latest uh, bus schedule, mm -hmm. the, the bus, uh, bus schedule still has students from Umatic being bus from their regular bus pickup areas, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. to FQ Sanchez in Umatic. Mm -hmm. Now, is it me that's not getting it? Jess, you just really hit a hot note with all of this down there because when we went to the board meeting mm -hmm. where they voted to shut it down, Dr. Cruz was just really um, displeased. He said, there is no plan. What is the plan for the children? Show me the plan for the children. And there was no plan. No plan. There's no plan for the children. I mean, 
If it's children <laughs> first, we failed. Children first, way back there. Well, at the back yeah. of the line, right? Yeah. There we go. Let's go to Maria from uh, Melissa as well. A lot of people in Melissa call him. Maria, good evening. Daily struggle for the parents and community of Yomatic all summer to keep their school open. Do you feel that they have won the battle? I guess all the efforts, hard work that the, the parents and mm -hmm. the community of, of FQ Sanchez Umatic to keep the school open, do, do you think they won the battle? Huh? I mean, well, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure where the battle stands. <laughs> <laughs> Is the school open? Is the school not open? What's the staffing pattern? Who are they going to have there? Do they have a counselor? Do they have a principal? Do they have a librarian? Do they have ESL? Or do they have part-time services for the children on this? Um, I. I how can you win the battle if you don't even know? And is the bus still going to drop them off at FQ We don't Sanchez? know. We don't know what's the plan. We, we need the plan. Oh, I don't know what's the plan. Yeah, uh, you know, two weeks, two weeks of school opening, yeah, a plan should have been in place. You know? Well, yeah. if they are going to shut the school down, that's one of the great things that uh, Dennis mm -hmm. Rodriguez's bill said. Mm -hmm. Give, if you're going to shut the school down, give us two years to plan. What mm -hmm. are we going to do? Let us take a census of the community so we have some mm -hmm. idea of what the community wants to do. Well, his original bill, because that's the what, what, original bill. Bec because the, the, that the 257 that was passed was, was definitely yeah. the only thing that stayed was the number. But, but the substance of the original 257 was, is gone. He even took his name off oh, of the oh, bill. Yeah, I yeah. would. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, would, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. More when we return.